I'm a second generation immigrant, which is just a fancy way of saying I look like this, but I sound like this. <laughs> I'm Chinese. <laughs> That's my thing. We all have a thing. That's mine. <laughs> Probably one of the top five Chinese comedians working in the UK. <laughs> it's not that impressive. There's like three of us. <laughs> So what's it like? Uh, there are a lot of stereotypes. One of the main stereotypes about being Chinese is we're very good academically. People often assume I'm amazing with maths and numbers, which is frustrating because I am. <laughs> I'm actually amazing, and it's frustrating that I'm actively justifying their prejudice with my sick mathematical skills. <laughs> at the age of three, I knew how to add. At the age of four, I knew my times tables. At the age of five, I knew long division. I still wear the bed until the age of eight. <laughs> Not every night, just five nights a week, which is 71.4% of the time. <laughs> Contrary to popular opinion, not all Chinese people are good at maths. In fact, some are very bad at maths. And they're always very ashamed about it. Like, you'll meet one and they'll be like, I'm bad at maths. And they'll always use this phrase. They'll say, I know I'm a terrible Asian. And it's like, come on, that's a bit harsh. Genghis Khan was a terrible Asian. <laughs> You're just not a stereotype. Uh, I'm a second generation immigrant, which is just a fancy way of saying, I look like this, but I sound like this. <laughs> uh, I was the only Chinese kid growing up in my class. Uh, I was very much the token. In fact, they even call me token, <laughs> at least. That's what they put on my Christmas cards. <laughs> sure, there was a space between a toe and the ken. <laughs> still hurts, still hurts. <laughs> it's fun. It's fun growing up in the UK, the least racist country in the world, <laughs> according to a survey. And how they did this survey is they asked the participant the very foolproof question, are you a racist? <laughs> so as we know, racists cannot lie. They're banned by the honor system. They have to tell you they're like cops. Uh, yeah, it's great. The UK, what a great place. I remember one of my first instances of racism. I still remember it quite well. I was quite young. I was walking home from school, and there was this boy and a girl stopped me. They started singing at me. They started singing that one line from that one song, Chickity China, the Chinese Chicken just over and over again, directly at me. And the most annoying part about that was, it's just so catchy. <laughs> it's so catchy. It's annoying when you get a song stuck in your head. It's even worse when that song is direct racial abuse. <laughs> like, at least Call Me Maybe isn't a hate crime. <laughs> Arguably. It was weird growing up in the UK. There was this kind of idea in the 90s and noughties that we were post-racism. Do you remember that? It was kind of this idea that racism had been solved. That's what people seem to teach us as kids, that racism had been solved. And you get a lot of people who think that, and you, they use a lot of post-racist phrases. They'll say stuff like, I don't even see color. They'll say stuff like that. I don't even see color. They'll say stuff like, oh, if you show me a picture of a black person, a white person, I don't see color. I just see two white people. <laughs> One of the main things that uh, people say about Chinese men is we're not very masculine. And I don't think that's fair. I can be masculine. I, too, can refuse to change my opinion based on new information. <laughs> I, too, can assume I'm amazing at something with no prior experience. <laughs> I, too, have lost a lot of money on cryptocurrency. <laughs> that's about as masculine as you can get. I'm going to finish with some quite niche observational comedy. Uh, it's about the one Specsavers I go to. Uh, really nice Specsavers. Listen, it's a great spec. Everyone who works there is Asian. Not a single white person works there. It is a utopia. <laughs> I sometimes just go to hang out. It's so nice. It's the last place I'll ever expect to get racism. It's a safe space for me. It's the last place I'll ever expect to get racism. They should put that in their adverts. They should put that in their branding. Here's my pitch for a perfect Specsavers advert. Uh, what they do is they just depict a really horrific racist attack. <laughs> and then it goes, bam, should have gone to Specsavers. <laughs> I've been Ken Chang. You've been fantastic. Thank you very much.